Good morning, Mets fans, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and I feel as though I need to channel my inner angry Mike Francesa. Uh, I don't have it in me, though, but uh, I'm angry, I'm not happy, and I want to talk about why on this morning's video. It is the hot stove season, and the byproduct of that is rumors, and there are lots of them. But, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't envy any of the reporters who cover the Mets, all right, who really who cover any, any major league team, but particularly in New York, um, with a team like the Mets, who seem to always take that second fiddle to the Yankees. But reporters are reporting rumors like crazy over the last few days. And it's really bothering me. Um, the, the biggest one that, that I read was a headline from Bleacher Report. It was based on a, on a, a story by John Heyman or a report by John Heyman. That, and, and the headline was so misleading. It was basically, Mets deal Harvey to Rangers for jerks and Profar has been discussed. So it's like they start the headline out with, it's a done deal. And then, well, they've been discussing it. And now a day later, it's coming out that, well, no, they, they did talk about it, but the Mets want more in return. Um, so I'm kind of glad about that part. But look, the, the rumor mill is, is crazy and it's hard to follow. And um, it's almost better not to follow because it's so maddening. Um, it's so maddening to hear things from Sandy Alderson like, ah, eh, we don't really want to give anybody a two-year deal. We'd rather scrap heap for the bullpen and just get a bunch of guys on one-year deals. And it's like, okay, you know, that that's fine. Be frugal. Pretend that you're poor. Um, you're not. You're wealthy. You're in the biggest market in the world. Act like it. And I'm getting tired of always acting like a, a, a mid-market team. And the Mets are most definitely not a mid-market team. I'm hoping that this is just a, a calm before the storm kind of thing where there's really not much to report. So these guys are just throwing out every rumor they're hearing and, and hoping that, you know, one of them sticks. Um, I, 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 I think it's time for the Mets to make a splash. I think this is like 2004, 2005 all over again, where if the Mets are really serious about being a legit contender, they have to make a splash. They have to make a Pedro Martinez or Carlos Beltran level splash. They have to do what they did when they went out and got Johan Santana in 2008. They have to do something right now to get the spotlight shined back on them so they can convince other players, hey, we're for real. We're not, me we're not messing around anymore. This is, a this is a big team, a major league team, and a major market, and we're going to spend like it pipe dream probably because as we all know the Wilpons don't like to open up their wallets and that's the part that's driving me the craziest uh, and I mentioned this yesterday you know if the Steinbrenners owned the Mets we wouldn't be talking like this because the Steinbrenners understand we got to spend money we have to spend money we have to invest in our team to make it better I don't know why the Mets feel like they don't have to do that or they could be creative and, and play around with mid-level guys on one-year deals you know, that's fine for a team that's rebuilding, but it's not fine for a team that wants to contend or that is pretending to be able to contend. Uh, right now, with the Mets as they currently stand, uh, there's no chance they contend. They're on their way to mediocrity, not to the promised land. And it's so typical because we had that one glimpse in 2015 of what the future could hold. 2016, they made it to the playoffs. Un uh, unbelievably so with all the injuries they had to deal with. They made it to the playoffs. Last year was a complete disaster, a complete step in the other direction. And instead of immediately course correcting from that, it seems as though, well, this is the way it's going to go because we've got guys that are hurt. And, you know, we've got too much money tied up in a guy like David Wright to go out and invest in a third baseman. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Trade for Manny Machado. Do what you have to do and trade for Manny Machado. You want to talk about trading Matt Harvey, a guy who has upside like crazy, who's coming off of the worst, as I said, the worst season in, in his his career, and certainly one of the worst seasons ever by a starting pitcher, um, you're going to trade him at his lowest level, at his lowest possible value. He's going into his last year before he will become a free agent. Don't you think he's going to be motivated to have the best year of his life? Put him in a package for Manny Machado. 
then we won't be so angry about hearing a name like Jerks and freaking Profar. Harvey for Profar. Come on. Make a splash, Mets. It's time to make your fans believe again that you give a shit about the team as much as we give a shit about the team. It's getting harder and harder. So I'm getting that Francesa level angry now. But it's getting harder and harder to watch this unfold. Hopefully these are just rumors. These are just things that are being reported. Um, I, I know Sandy, at least I like to think that Sandy Alderson is a smart cerebral guy who says things to draw attention in the wrong place. You know, he throws a lot of smoke screens out there while he's working some other deal behind the scenes. I hope that that's what's happening and I hope that he's just swerving us all and he's going to prove us all wrong. But it's time to put up or shut up. Let's do it. Make a trade. Get a big name to play third base. As much as I love David Wright, I don't think he's ever going to come back. And if he ever does, he's not going to be a third baseman. So, you know what? You want a guy to platoon with Dom Smith at first? Why not let it be David Wright when and if he ever comes back? Go get Manny Machado. That's going to make me feel a lot better about what's happening right now in, in baseball. So that wraps it up for today. Um, I'm angry. I will probably not be back tomorrow unless there's something not angry <laughs> to report because I don't like to do this when I'm mad. I like to I like to be have this be sort of happy and upbeat and uh, I want the Mets to get back to that that level. So let's hope that the next time I record a video, I'll have something to smile about instead of me smiling about the fact that I'm, I don't want to turn into Mike Francesa's rants. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You can follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. And for God's sakes, please, Mets, just do something. Make us have a reason to say, let's go Mets.